everybody, welcome back to microbeerreviews.com. This is uh, one of our beer fun fact videos. I get this question asked a lot. And what well, the purpose of this video is, is to ex explain what IBUs, what that rating is uh, for a beer, what it means, and kind of why is it there. So, on all of our uh, beer reviews on microbeerreviews.com, you'll see a section that will say IBU. Um, what that means is IBU stands for the International Bittering Unit. What does it mean? So if uh, IBU is high, meaning 60, 70, 80, 90, it means, number one, that more hops have been used. Number two, it's probably a little bit more bitter. And number three... Uh, there's reasons why IBUs are high or low, and I'm going to explain that. So, an IBU, like I said, is just a, a measuring unit of, and I'll read you the definition, provides a measurement of the bitterness of a beer, which is provided by utilizing hops in the brewing process. Uh, this bittering unit is also, can also be measured through a spectrophotometer and solvent extract. So, we'll get into that later on a different video. Uh, the technique uh, was adopted at the same time as other different methods for measuring the concentration in milligrams per liter or parts per million uh, in, in the beer. Uh, so, let's talk about this. So, the bittering effect or the bitterness of a beer is less noticeable in beers that have a high quality or a lot of malt. What Let's define that as well. So what that means is the higher an IBU, uh, a higher IBU is needed in a heavier beer to balance out the flavor. All right, a good example of this is a stout. If it has an IBU of 50, um, it will taste less bitter than an English beer with an IBU of 30. Um, so for example... Uh, you'll see a lot of Indian Pale Ales, IPAs. Uh, you'll see some lagers, maybe some uh, some of the winter brews maybe, but on the lighter side. Uh, those are the best examples that I can give you that have high IBUs. And they are hoppier beers. So Hopped Optimum, um, Hopsecutioner, uh, um, Endorphin, or not Endorphin, Euphoria. Um, is a good example. Um, any beer that is really hoppy in flavor, the dogfish beers, that's a, actually a very good example. They have a 60, what they call a 60 minute, a 90 minute, and a 120 minute. What those numbers are, are the IBUs of each beer. So the higher the IBU goes, the bitter, more bitter and hoppier flavor you're going to get. But now, take a stout, some stouts do have IBUs in the 30s or 40s, but because it's got such a massive amount of malt, which is where this, where the with color comes from, where the where the the stout flavor comes from. You don't taste it as much because the malt overpowers it. So anyway, that's what an IBU is. If you don't like bitter beers and you don't like hops, you need to stay probably below. I would say thir an IBU of thirty. If you kind of like hops, uh, you know maybe a little, maybe not a lot, a little, maybe some pale ales. Not Indian pale ales, but a couple of pale ales, some of the lagers. You'll have IBUs between 30 and 50. Once you get above 50, so 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, they are very hoppy, very dry, very bitter beers. Um, but that's what the measurement is. We hope you enjoyed learning about what an IBU is. Thanks for checking out our website. Uh, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and check back again real soon.